Hello everyone! Welcome to Physify, a series of video tutorials in Signboard channel. I'm your tutor, Sir Jose. In this series of video tutorials, we'll break down physics concepts into simple and easy to understand parts. In this video, let's understand force. But before we dive in, here's our learning goal for this video. Describe what force is. Now, to kick things off, let's check your understanding of force. Let's try this. Observe the illustration. Find and list at least 10 situations where force is used. You have 30 seconds to do it. But if you need more time, you can pause the video. Share your answers in the comment section. Time's up. So, let's find out the activities that show force being applied. Standing. Writing. Sitting. Pushing the chairs. Wiping the chalkboard. Pushing a cart. Sweeping the floor. Lifting the blocks. Wiping the windows and throwing the crumpled paper into the trash bin. So, were you able to recognize the situations that show force being applied? Good job! I hope you had fun! Every time you open a door or close it, pick up your bag, or even as you stand or sit, force is used. Force is a part of everything we do. A force is a push or a pull that acts between two things or between something and its surroundings. Force exists because your hand interacted with the door through touch or physical contact. Well, that makes sense because you can't exert force on nothing, right? When you stop holding and pushing or pulling the door, you no longer exert force. Force is an action that exists when objects interact. In the situation that we had, when the boy applied force to the door, the door moved. Making an object move is one of the effects of force. This is the reason why force is also defined this way. It is a push or a pull that can change the motion of an object. Don't get confused. Let's compare the two definitions. The first definition is about the nature of force. It explains 
why force exists. Force exists because of interaction. It cannot exist by itself. The second definition highlights the results or effects of force on objects. The two definitions are complementary. Well, if we come to think of it, the second definition already contains the idea of force being an interaction because force doesn't happen by itself. A push or a pull happens because of interaction and that interaction can change the motion of an object. This time, let's familiarize the characteristics of force. Force is a vector quantity, and vector quantities have magnitude and direction. Magnitude in science is a word or term that we use to talk about the size, quantity, or amount of something. In this case, when we say the magnitude of the force, it means the amount of force exerted. Or in other words, magnitude answers the question, how strong is the force? On the other hand, direction is the orientation of the vector. It simply describes which way the push or pull is exerted. Vector quantities are represented by an arrow because it has a direction and the size or the length of the arrow could represent its magnitude. Now, let's go back to our question. What is force? A force is a push or a pull that can change the motion of an object. It is a vector quantity that has both magnitude and direction. The unit of measuring force is Newton, and it is represented by an arrow. In the next video, we will explore how force affects the motion of objects. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya in the next part of our video tutorials on force.